On this fine late fall day, two Brunswick High School students, CC Carrie Snow and Sam Katz, captured two painted turtles to use for radio telemetry tracking. After the turtles are removed from their trap, Eric explains to the students how markings on their shells can be used to tell the turtles apart and how to properly measure the turtles to determine if they are good candidates for radio tracking. The big one. See these lovely notches mm -hmm. in the scoots? And we use those. Oh, he's got sharp claws. <laughs> um, to ID them. And we have, flip to the very front, our own marking method. This isn't the data sheet that we usually use. There's a nice one. Um, but these are all single digits um, until nine. And then these ones, right on the tail, see where the line mm -hmm. comes down? Single. So this is one, two, three, four, yep. et cetera. And this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 90. And then we go way higher Okay. Um, up in these ones. But we don't really use those ones. Um, so flip now to the back. The back. Yeah, we've got some. In order to put a transmitter on the turtle, it needs to be less than 10% of the turtle's body weight or any animal's body weight. Um, those are a few grams, and that's a 200 gram turtle. So it's good. Eric then explains the use of the telemetry equipment. This is what we're using to receive the signal from the transmitters. Um, Telling Cheryl, this is what we call the Yagi antenna. So it's multi-directional. Um, the other type of antenna that you can use is called the H antenna. And it's unidirectional, or this is unidirectional, H is multi-directional, sorry. Um, the H antenna will receive signals from both directions. Um, it's like, as the name describes, it's simple H. This is good um, when you're homing things. So when, when you know, say you have a frog or a turtle with a transmitter on it, you, you kind of know where, where its general location is, and they're not going to go running off on you too quickly. The turtles are then cleaned so that they can be mounted with radio transmitters. Where are we going to put it? Back there. Yeah, basically we don't need, we don't need it up here where it might be cumbersome. Um, kind of out of the way, this isn't going to hurt anything because it's a little... So show us approximately where you would like to... Like to put it right at the top of this. We're gonna lay the tightest. Do you have Turtles are then released back into their natural habitat and will be tracked by students for the next few months. Something you should know.